One other thing you say here, MBK, is that sometimes people come here and they make generalizations. And one person said, one person said that I hated my life. Rick, you must hate your life. Why? Because criticism? I do not see the connection here. I don't think hating your life has anything to do with criticism. And could you imagine? Could you imagine a world without criticism? All right. Already, we see a YouTube uh, mostly without criticism. All right. Like I said, Boogie2988, he got some criticism, and that led to hopefully some change, and maybe he's not going to be begging for Tesla's anymore. But YouTube is one of the last places you will see. Video games have criticism. Movies have criticism. Television shows have criticism. But there's not a lot of criticism for fellow YouTubers that's not seen as hateful or trollish. Okay, that's a problem. That's something that I am trying to change on the platform, all right? It's tough because you get people coming here saying all the stupid stuff like, I hate myself and I hate my life. Could you imagine that mentality applied to maybe restaurants, all right? The food is better at certain restaurants and certain chains because guess what? There were food tasters. There were food critics. The idea is criticism leads to something better, okay? Cars, trucks are better now than they were decades ago. Well, probably not decades ago, but you know what I'm saying, maybe uh, last century, because of critics, because of test drivers, all right? Because of people trying to be critical of the car, it's safety. Uh, cars are a lot you know, safer. They have airbags now, right? That was criticism. Maybe there was a lot of wrecks and they said, you know what? Too many people are dying in these cars because we don't have airbags. So let's put something in a steering wheel, an airbag, all right? Critics led to that kind of thing. Critics will give you a lot of great things in life. And critics, I think maybe the fear of a lot of these e-baggers is, critics might one day give you more channels that are afraid to e-bag. Right now, they're not that afraid. Maybe one day in the future, they might be a little afraid to e-bag. All right, they might be afraid of losing subscribers. See what happened with John Hancock. He was deathly afraid of losing subscribers, so that's why he had uh, that little happy accident, and he dropped his join button. He dropped his join button for no other reason than he was afraid. He was afraid of losing subscribers. And I think YouTubers, I think YouTubers should be held accountable to criticism, just like movie makers, just like game makers, just like anyone in any industry doing anything. There's no difference Plain and simple, that's what I think.